ఇంగ్లీష్ సబ్జెక్టు రీడింగ్ కాంప్రెన్షన్స్ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం మనతో సీనియర్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ రామభద్రాచార్యులు మనతో ఉన్నారు సార్ని అడిగి సబ్జెక్ట్ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఏంటి ఇంతకుముందు ఎలాంటి క్వశ్చన్స్ వచ్చాయి ఎంత ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఈ సబ్జెక్ట్ అని చెప్పేసి మనం సార్ ని అడిగి తెలుసుకుందాం సార్ నమస్తే సార్ సార్ ఇంగ్లీష్లో రీడింగ్ కాంప్రెన్షన్స్ చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ సార్ అసలు రీడింగ్ కాంప్రెన్షన్స్ అంటే ఏంటి సార్ అసలు రీడింగ్ కాంప్రెన్షన్ మీన్స్ whatever we read and try to get the information out of our reading that should be analyzed that is comprehension we have to thoroughly understand what we get from the text whatever we read manam edaina chadutamo aa chadivin dantlo unnatundi vishesham emiti ane danni manam telusukoni danni visleshana cheyadam anamata visleshana cheyadam chaala pradhanam ఓరక చదవడం కాదు రీడింగ్ అంటే చదివి అందులో ఉన్నటువంటి విషయాన్ని గ్రహించడం ఆ గ్రహించిన విషయా విషయాన్ని విశ్లేషించడం అందులో ఏమైనా ఇంత ఇంకా ఇతరమైన విశేషాలు ఏమైనా అంతర్యంగా లోపల దాగి ఉన్నా ఏమైనా ఉన్నాయా అవి కూడా తెలుసుకోవాలి సో రీడింగ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ జస్ట్ రీడింగ్ ద వర్డ్స్ సెంటెన్సెస్ అండ్ పారాగ్రాఫ్స్ బట్ reading is to get information whatever is being conveyed through those symbols and groups of symbols in the form of words sentences and paragraphs okay we shall discuss that matter in detail today in this right. session okay good 1550 frame law Continue, Before we move on to discuss what reading comprehension is, okay, sir. Before we move on to discuss what reading comprehension is and how it is being dealt with, let us first discuss what reading is and what the reading process, the process of reading is. to discuss that matter frankly reading is decoding the symbols and getting at the ideas being conveyed through those symbols the symbols are in the form of words sentences and paragraphs so whatever those symbols convey us that should be decoded that is decoded the symbols are to be decoded whatever words sentences and paragraphs we read the information is to be got from those words sentences and paragraphs and after getting at the information again we have to analyze that is what reading is A reading is for thorough understanding of what is being conveyed through those sentences and paragraphs okay let us move on further this is the process of reading in the process of reading we decode the words the sentences and the paragraphs to get at the right meaning and ideas that are being conveyed it is a decoding process and whenever we try to write we try to encode our ideas in the form of symbols that is words sentences and paragraphs we encode their encoding is done in the case of writing and in the case of reading decoding is done that is the process of reading when we resort to reading we are exposed to the language elements whenever we read a text some text what are we exposed to we are exposed to the vocabulary items various words which are arranged in the form of sentence patterns in which these vocabulary items are arranged for giving a specific meaning so a reading skill is developed by developing the comprehending ability in the learners 
through reading and that is called reading comprehension. So learners ought to be trained in such a way that they cultivate right habit of reading. When reading, they go on reading and reading and reading the texts, the books, whatever they find and whatever they get and try to enrich their knowledge. Enrich their, not only just enriching their knowledge, they further try to analyze the knowledge, whatever they gained. Okay? So, that is the important and reading comprehension. Mainly, there are three kinds of reading comprehension. And they are to be developed at various levels, right from the primary level, secondary level, collegiate level, and university level, advanced level. At all levels, you need to comprehend whatever is read. That has to be cultivated and developed. The first one is the factual or literal comprehension. This involves the ability to extract the factual information from a text. If you read a text, what factual information is available there that is got by means of this factual comprehension. Whatever is explicitly stated over there this is called factual comprehension or literal comprehension. And this is otherwise called reading from the lines. Okay? This is the first variety of reading comprehension. Literal comprehension or a factual comprehension and it is otherwise called reading from the lines. The second one is inferential or interpretative comprehension. What is this? This kind of comprehension necessitates the learner to go with inferring what is meant from the understanding of what is stated in the passage or the text. Whatever is conveyed in the text that gives some certain information. From that information, what else can be inferred? Andalo ninchinka emi manavu infer jayavatsu. And inka andalo dagi unnadu unnadu vishayali emiti. E baita chapa padutu na vishayam idi. Dhirika antariyanga emu unnadi. Emi chapa lani ila chaptu naru. Antariyanga emu dagi unnadi. That is inferential thinking. That inferential thinking is developed through this inferential comprehension. And this can be said as reading between the lines. The first one is reading from the lines and the second one is reading between the lines. This reading between the lines is very, very important. Mana baita ka kani pinche dhanta vastavam kadu dene ki antaryanga unnadun vishyalni manam grahin chale yevanta shashvatan ka adhan jibutun taru tatva vettalo yehuta allopal daagiyo na vishyal yehuti that is the real thing education gives us. Baita gani pinche vishyal ka kando vaati ki antriyanga unde vishyal yehuto telsko galgadam nijanga vijyavantula ne vallu seyavalisne twenty pane na mat vijyante ati ante gani baita gani pinche the andar ki gani pistundi sadhu kono vaati ki thei gani pistundi baita sadhu koni vaati ki gani pistu kani ka inferential thinking developing inferential thinking is the main task of reading comprehension and this is the important variety inferential comprehension it is otherwise called reading between the lines okay 
and the third one is a critical or evaluative comprehension. What is this critical or evaluative comprehension? This necessitates the learner to go with not only understanding of what is explicitly stated in the passage or implied in the text, but it also develops the ability to judge the ideas in the light of the reader's own life's experience. Jeevita Anubhavan Nunchi, A Vishayani Inka Vedamarchi A Soda Galgate Twenty Samar Jani Kalgin Chede Evaluative Critical Comprehension and Advent. And this is otherwise called reading beyond the lines. This reading beyond the lines or critical comprehension, reading between the lines, reading between the lines, that is inferential comprehension. These two varieties of comprehension are very, very important. I am sorry to say this. these two things are totally forgotten. And mainly people are going ahead with only factual comprehension, okay? But apart from the factual comprehension and the literal comprehension, we have to also inculcate the habit of going with inferential thinking and inferential comprehension as well as it is reading between the lines and reading beyond the lines. Digging out the gold, and the Dagun treasures in biting the alley. Adi change in a Pujarthu Cheta Avijarthu, oh, Indian Gopukopo Vishalone in the law. So, Prathu Sadiwe than to Praman Sadiwe, Prativoka Vishale Guda, Antri Yanga, Indian no Vishalone and a matter. Adi read that gives real enjoyment to the learner and reader. That is to be inculcated right from primary stage onwards. Now, reading comprehension can also be global. That means overall understanding of the given text. And it can be local comprehension. That is understanding some specific details in the text. Learners are to be guided properly so that they go, they go back to the passage and find out suitable answers for different questions. So the teachers should be in a position to pose as many questions as possible, a variety of questions, questions not only on factual comprehension, but also on inferential comprehension and critical evaluative comprehension. So they should be first develop that ability to frame questions. After reading a passage, they should frame such questions and pose such questions to the students so that students are forced to think over to arrive at the answers then their thinking ability will improve and whenever they read a text or a passage or a book, they will be posing similar kind of questions for themselves and they improve their ability to go with factual comprehension as well as inferential comprehension and critical or evaluative comprehension with whatever the kind of text they go with. So now we shall take a simple example for that. And when all these kinds of comprehension abilities are inculcated, the learners or the readers are made to go back into the passage. So they have to go backward and they should move forward in the passage so as to make logical reasoning 
and go with thorough understanding, then only thorough comprehension is done. So as to ensure thorough comprehension, the learners or the students are to be allowed and rather they are to be forced to go back into the passage and move forward and travel. They should be moving backward and forward in the passage. So at that they go with logical reasoning of the ideas that are conveyed over there and develop the habit of cultivating the abilities of factual comprehension, inferential comprehension and critical evaluative comprehension. Now for this purpose, let us have this sentence for a small discussion of the three kinds of comprehension. See the sentence, just one sentence is given. Rajaya planted a tree in his garden on his birthday and the tree is still alive. Look at the sentence once again please. Rajaya planted a tree in his garden on his birthday and the tree is still alive. I think you have understood what is being conveyed over there in that particular <coughs> sentence. It is just one single sentence. <coughs> now try to frame questions on factual information, whatever is conveyed in this. Look, here are some questions to ensure factual or literal comprehension. Who planted the tree is available in the sentence. Rajaya, Rajaya planted a tree. Where did he plant the tree? He planted a tree in his garden. When did he plant the tree? On his birthday. He planted a tree in his garden on his birthday. Rajaya planted a tree on his birthday. Okay. And what did he plant in his garden? A tree. He planted a tree in his garden. These are all the questions we pose on factual comprehension. For all these questions, information is readily available. It is explicitly stated. The answers are explicitly stated in the given sentence. Now, what is the second variety of comprehension? First one is factual comprehension. Second one is inferential comprehension. See, look for ensuring inferential comprehension. What sort of question we can pose? Is Rajaya alive? For this question, answer is not readily available in the given sentence. Is it available in the sentence? Rajaya planted a tree in his garden on his birthday on the and the tree is still alive. Whether he is alive or not is not available. That information is not available in the sentence. But it is hidden whether he is alive or not. There is a clue in the sentence. What is that clue? Still. The tree is still alive. Chetu matram inka batke undi. Then Arthamavati. Ante akada yemri vayavishyam dagi undi. A chetu matram batke undi inka. A chetu matram inka batke undi. Ante raji ledanu mathe kada. That is inference. That, that information is hidden. When we draw out the hidden information, that is called inferential comprehension. So, is Rajaya alive? For this question, answer is not overtly stated in the given sentence, but we can infer and answer the question with the help of the hint. What is that hint? Still, the word still helps us. That is the hint 
స్టిల్ ఆ చెట్టు ఇంకా బతికే ఉంది అని అంటే దాని అర్థం రాజీ లేదు కదా సో దట్ ఇస్ ద సెకండ్ వెరైటీ ఆఫ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద థర్డ్ వెరైటీ ఆఫ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ క్రిటికల్ ఆర్ ఇవాల్యుయేటివ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ సే ఫర్ ఎన్షూరింగ్ క్రిటికల్ ఆర్ ఇవాల్యుయేటివ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ వీ కెన్ పోజ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్ వై డిడ్ రాజయ్య ప్లాంట్ ఎ ట్రీ ఇన్ హిస్ గార్డెన్ ఎందుకు మాట్లాడే ఆ చెట్టు అక్కడ వాళ్ళు తన తోటలో అందున మరి తను పుట్టినరోజున ఆన్ హిస్ బర్త్డే he planted a tree in his garden why why did he plant a tree in his garden there will be different answers for this question somebody may say even if he is not alive the tree will be there as a memory whenever anybody sees that tree oh this tree is planted by rajaya as a memory somebody may say that that is the answer for this question somebody may say somebody else may say the tree he planted the tree in his garden so that even if he is not alive the fruits of the tree may be enjoyed by generations after generations ee taram aa taram tarvata inko taram taram tarvata taram vallu kuda ఆ చెట్టు యొక్క ఫలాలు అనుభవిస్తారు చెట్టు నాటితే నేనున్నా లేకపోయినా అన్న భావంతో ఆయన చెట్టు నాటి ఉండొచ్చు అని ఇంకొకరు ఇంకో సమాధానం ఇంకొకరు చెప్పవచ్చు ఇంతేనా ఇంకేం లేవా సమాధానాలు సంబడి ఎల్స్ మై సే దిస్ ఆన్సర్ హూ హ్యాస్ గాట్ ఈకలాజికల్ సెన్స్ బికాస్ ద ట్రీ గివ్స్ ఫ్రెష్ ఎయర్ ట్రీ గివ్స్ షేడ్ it gives a fresh air he might have planted a tree okay he might have planted a tree because it gives a fresh air besides fruits fruits for eating only when the fruit is available that can be taken and eaten by the people okay and in the case of some certain trees the leaves can be eaten by some certain animals including human beings but trees always give shade always that means in all seasons every day every hour during day time they give oxygen they liberate oxygen they so oxygen is generated in leaves so somebody else may, may give this as answer rajaya has planted a tree in his garden on his birthday because it gives a fresh air oxygenated air and it gives a shade perhaps because of that reason rajaya might have planted that way for one question there may be several answers how these several answers are possible all these answers are not given will not be given by one individual one individual may give one kind of answer another individual may give another kind of answer it all depends on the individual's life's experience and ability to relate the issue to his life's experience his he is every individual should be in a in a should possess the ability to relate the individual's life's experience to the present issue mana jeevitha anubhavanni drushtilo pettukoni ee issue ni aalochana cheyali dani vedamarichi aalochana cheyali oka vishayanni vedamarichi aalochana cheyadaniki aa vyakti yokka jeevitha anubhavam mottamu athanaku upayogapadutundi ala upayogapetti ఆ విషయాన్ని విశ్లేషించి చూచి ఆ ప్రశ్నలకు సమాధానాలు చెప్పడం కనుక విషయ విషయాల ఎడల విషయ విషయాలను విశ్లేషించి చూడడంలో వ్యక్తి యొక్క అనుభవాన్ని జీవిత అనుభవాన్ని అక్కడ జోడించడం ఇక్కడ ఈ విధమైనటువంటి కాంప్రహెన్షన్ మనం ఏమంటామంటే 
critical or evaluative comprehension. So, teachers should develop the necessary abilities to frame such questions that can develop the abilities in children so that they cultivate the habit of factual comprehension, inferential comprehension and critical or evaluative comprehension. Now, we shall take a passage and read it. We shall take the passage, a passage, read it and prepare the three varieties of questions. Okay? Now, look at this paragraph. It is a passage containing three or four paragraphs. See, let us read the passage and answer the questions given there under. Okay? One day, a professor entered the classroom and asked his students to prepare for a surprise test. They wanted, they waited anxiously. Who? The students. Students waited anxiously at their desks for the test to begin. The professor handed out the question paper with the text facing down as usual. The text can put a paper each once he handed out the question paper to them all, he asked his students to turn the page and begin. To everyone's surprise, there were no questions except a black dot in the center of the page. The professor, seeing the expression on everyone's face, said, I want you to write what you see there. The confused students got started on the <coughs> inexplicable task. At the end of the class, the professor took all the answer papers and started reading each one of them aloud in front of all the students. All of them, with no exception, described the black dot and tried to explain its position in the middle of the sheet and so on. After all had been read, the classroom was silent. The professor began to explain, I am not going to grade you on this. I just wanted to give you something to think about. No one wrote about the white part of the paper. Everyone focused on the black dot and the same happens in our lives. We have a white paper to observe and enjoy, but we always focus on the dark spots. Our life is a gift given to us by God with love and care. We always have reasons to celebrate. Nature renewing itself every day, our friends around us, the job that provides our livelihood, the miracles we see every day and so on. However, we insist on focusing only on the dark spots, the health issues that bother us, the lack of money, the complicated relationship with a family member, the disappointment with a friend, etc. The dark spots are very small compared to everything we have in our lives, but they are the ones that pollute our minds. That is the passage. Take your eyes away from the black spots in your life. Enjoy each one of your blessings, each moment that life gives you. Be happy and live your life positively. So that is the passage. So, passage is over. For your convenience, I'll just show you the passage paragraph-wise once again, so that the viewers 
can frame some questions. Of course, questions also would be available now to think over. Just the first paragraph. One day a professor entered the classroom and asked his students to prepare for a surprise test. They waited anxiously at their desks for the test to begin. Professor handed out the question paper with the text facing down as usual. Once he handed over the question papers to them all, he asked his students to turn the page and begin. To everyone's surprise, there were no questions at all except a black dot in the center of the page. The professor, seeing the expression on the everyone's face, said, I want you to write what you see there. The confused students got started on the inexplicable task. At the end of the class, the professor took all the answer papers and started reading each one of them aloud in front of all the students. All of them, with no exception, described the black dot and try to explain its position in the middle of the sheet, etc. After all has been read, uh, the, all the papers have been read, the classroom was silent. The professor began to explain, I'm not going to grade you on this. I just wanted to give you some certain thing to think about. No one wrote about the white part of the paper. Everyone focused on the black dot and the same happens in our lives. We have a white paper to observe and enjoy, but we always focus on the dark spots. Our life is a gift given to us by God with love and care. We always have reasons to celebrate. Nature renewing itself every day, our friends around us, the job that provides us livelihood, the miracles we see every day, and so on. However, we insist on focusing only on the dark spots, the health issues that bother us, the lack of money, the complicated relationship with a family member, the disappointment with a friend, etc. The dark spots are very small compared to everything we have in our lives, but they are the ones that pollute our minds. Take your eyes away from the black spots in your life. Enjoy each one of your blessings, each moment that life gives you. Be happy and live your life positively. Now, let's move on to the questions. Answer these questions. Try to analyze the questions. What did the professor want to do one day? What did he want to do one day? The professor wanted to conduct a test to his students. It is available in the paragraph. One day, professor entered the classroom, asked his students to prepare for the surprise test. So, he wanted to conduct a special test, surprise test. Okay, that is the first question for which answer is readily available in the paragraph. That means what a sort of question it is? Does it, uh, uh, is it related to the factual comprehension or inferential comprehension or critical comprehension? Nothing but factual comprehension because information is available there. Second question. What did the students find in the question paper? What did they find there in the question paper? The students found what? A white paper and a black dot in its middle. It is also there, available there in the paragraph. See, look. The professor handed out the question paper with the text facing down as usual and he asked his students to turn the page and begin. To everyone's surprise, there were no questions except a black dot in the center of the page. So, entire page is white paper, 
but there is only one black dot in its center. So, the information is available there for the question. So, this improves the factual comprehension. What did the students find in the question paper? A black dot on white page. The students found only that. What are the things that pollute our minds? Now I think answer is available somewhere. Okay, let's see. What do pollute? See, look, in this paragraph, the word pollute is available. They are the ones that pollute our minds. What are they? The dark spots are very small compared to everything we have in our lives. What are those dark spots? What are those dark spots? The health issues that bother us the lack of money, the complicated relationship with a family member, the disappointment with a friend, and so on, like that. All such things pollute our minds. So, answer is available in the paragraph. What are the things that pollute our minds? These are all the things which pollute our minds. For these three questions, answers are readily available in the paragraph explicitly stated over there. Now look at this fourth question. What does the black dot represent? Do you have any information for this question in the paragraph? There is black dot okay on white paper there is a black dot okay. The question is, what does the black dot represent? They might have described, the students might have described about the black dot. It is here, it is there, it is nearer the uh, center, etc., etc., etc. They might have described that black dot. But the question is, what does the black dot represent? It represents our worries, the things which pollute our mind, the things which pollute our mind are represented by the black dot. Okay? Similarly, what does the white space on the paper represent? What does the white space on the paper represent? A white space, what does it represent? The white space represents what? Think over. The next question, why did the professor give such a strange test to his students? For this there, there may not be one answer. For the questions 4 and 5, there may be single answer. The answers may not be readily available there in the paragraph. That means question numbers 4 and 5, these two questions are on inferential comprehension. We have to infer, we have to draw out the hidden things a black dot and empty what does the black dot represent then represent just on the what does the white space represent these two things only single answer for these questions each question has got only one single answer but that is hidden that is to be these answers, answers for these two questions are to be inferred. But for the question number six, there may be several answers. Why did the professor give such a strange test to his students? 
Why did he give such a test to his students? The strange test. Normally, Parishante in just now, you can question this third answer. I want to can you know, embitter do? I want to parish petal. He has given a strange test. Why did he give such a strange test to his students? While you can. Alochana Samarjali Telsukovali. Okay? Chudendi. Now answers to these questions. What did the professor want to do one day? One day the professor wanted to conduct a surprise test. Second question. What did the students find in the question paper? They found a black dot on a white sheet given as the question paper. That is given as the question paper for them. The white sheet with a black dot in the center. Question number three. What are the things that pollute our minds? The things that pollute our minds are the lack of money, the complicated relationship with family member, the disappointment with a friend and so on. These things are readily available in the passage given. But for question number four, what does the black dot represent? It represents the inconveniences, difficulties and problems that people face in their lives. Okay? They pollute our minds. What does the white space on the paper represent? The white space on the paper represents the happy time enjoyed by the people by everyone. Life is there to enjoy, not to bother over any difficult thing or any problem. Problems do come and go. You are there to solve them. They can be sorted out, but life is there to enjoy. That sort of attitude is to be inculcated. Whether my students do possess that kind of attitude or not, he wanted to know. The professor might have wanted to know. That's a very important thing these days. When we find several students and youngsters, for a simple things they are committing suicides, both boys and girls. Very, very sorrowful thing. Very pitiable thing. Now, White space, it is, it represents happy time enjoyed by the people. Now the question six, why did the professor give such a strange test to his students? The reason behind giving such a strange test to the students may be to find whether the students describe the white space as well as a black dot on the white sheet. It may be answer for the question. Adenduka strange test do. Ala black dot no gurinche chebutara, white space no gurinche would have a chebutara, renditi gurinche butara ledani, art estimated. An answer Japan go. I walk a recommend answer. Inko recommend answer. To know whether the students describe the white space as a representation of good things and, a, and the black dot as a representation of bad things in the world. Inkokuriya kabhi prime it lagoda mundo utsu. Idi guda a question ke taigna answer hai. Aadi students who white space ni manchi vishayal ko samandhi chala gurtu ga chaptara ni black dot ni. E prapanchu lo thunte chedda vishayal ko oka representation ga chaptara le daan chupi. So to know whether the students describe the white space as a representation of good things. And a black dot is a representation of bad things in the world. Araga chepna kani mana vadigana twenty question kuidi guda samathan mothundi. Autunda kada? Autundi. Next, to know whether the students are able to identify that life is a combination of good and bad things. Students are, whether the students are able to identify that life is a combination of both good and bad things. 
ఆ పేపర్ ఇచ్చాడు పేపర్ మీద డాట్ పెట్టాడు దాని గురించి వాళ్ళ అభిప్రాయాలు చెప్పుకున్నాడు అది దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ఎ సూటబుల్ ఫర్ ఆన్సర్ ఫర్ ది క్వశ్చన్ సి అనదర్ ఆన్సర్ టు నో విత్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ కేపబుల్ ఆఫ్ సేయింగ్ దాట్ పీపుల్ హ్యావ్ టు కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ మోర్ ఆన్ పాజిటివ్స్ అండ్ లెస్ ఆన్ నెగిటివ్స్ ఇన్ లైఫ్ జీవితంలో పాజిటివ్స్ మీదనే ఎక్కువ దృష్టి పెట్టాలి నెగిటివ్స్ మీద చాలా తక్కువ దృష్టి పెట్టాలి అందుకే బ్లాక్ స్పాట్ చిన్నదిగా పెట్టాడు ఆయన మిదంతా వైట్ స్పేస్ ఇచ్చాడు వై డిడ్ హీ కండక్ట్ దట్ టెస్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఓకే సి ద క్వశ్చన్ వన్స్ అగైన్ వై డిడ్ ద ప్రొఫెసర్ గివ్ సచ్ ఎ స్ట్రేంజ్ టెస్ట్ టు హిస్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దెర్ మే బీ సెవరల్ ఆన్సర్స్ ఫర్ సచ్ క్వశ్చన్ దట్ మీన్స్ Questions of this kind inculcate critical comprehension, develop the ability to comprehend in a critical way. So, how many kinds of comprehension, reading comprehension we have now discussed? We have now discussed in this session that in reading comprehension there are three kinds of things. One is first one is factual or literal comprehension the second one is inferential comprehension and the third one is critical or evaluative comprehension for the factual comprehension things are readily available there in the paragraph if you are satisfied with such questions whether the teacher or the taught whether the teachers or the students if they are satisfied with those things reading comprehension is not complete the teachers should be in a position to pose questions on inferential comprehension to inculcate that ability the of comprehending the passage through inferential comprehension through and develop inferential thinking and further teachers also should pose questions on critical or evaluative comprehension where their life experience should come to their credit for answering such questions right sir manaku almost time aipochin sir okay final ga cheppandi last 2 minutes ee subject gurinchi abhyarthulu elanti jagratalu teeskovalantaru easy ga asalu reading comprehensions gurinchi elanti jagratalu teeskovali alage answer nu suluva gurtinchadaniki oka 2 minutes lo paddhatu cheppandi ikkada endha akka nunchi ee gatha ganta kalanga manam discuss chestu unna vishayam entante edana chadutunnamo aa chadivindi ardham chestunnava leda ani cheppesesi క్వశ్చన్స్ వేస్తుంటారు వాటికి ఆన్సర్స్ రాస్తుంటారు విద్యార్థులు ఆ క్వశ్చన్స్కు ఆ ప్యాసేజ్లో ఉన్న ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ మీద ఆధారపడే అక్కడే దొరికేటువంటి సమాధానాలు వచ్చేటట్టుగా ప్రశ్నలు వేస్తే అది పెద్ద విశేషమే కాదు ఆంతర్యంగా దాగి ఉన్న భావాలను వెలికి తీసేటువంటి సామర్థ్యాన్ని విద్యార్థులలో మనం కలుగు చేయాలి దానికి ఇన్ఫరెన్షియల్ థింకింగ్ వాళ్ళు డెవలప్ చేయాలి ఆ ఇన్ఫరెన్షియల్ థింకింగ్ లేకనే చాలా మంది ఎన్నో ఇబ్బందులు ఎదుర్కొంటున్నారు ఈవేళ జీవితంలో జీవితాల్లో ఇబ్బందులు ఎదుర్కోవడానికి కారణమే ఏంటి అంటే ఈ ఇన్ఫరెన్షియల్ థింకింగ్ లేకపోవడం అంతా మనకు ఇక్కడ కళ్ళకు కనిపిస్తూ ఉండాలి కనిపించకపోతే డిస్సాటిస్ఫై అయిపోతారు దాంతో కుంగిపోతారు ఈ కుంగుబాటు ఎక్కడికి దారితీస్తుందో నేను చెప్పనక్కర్లేదు రైట్ సార్ కాబట్టి ఇన్ఫరెన్షియల్ థింకింగ్ దానిని మించి ఇంకా క్రిటికల్ ఇవాల్యుయేటివ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ దాన్ని నీ జీవిత అనుభవం ఎంతో అవసరం నీకు మున్ముందు నువ్వు ఎదుర్కోబోయేటువంటి సమస్యలకు నీవు ఆల్రెడీ గడించిన జీవితానుభవం అనేటువంటిది నీకు సహాయం పడుతుంది అనేటువంటిది వాళ్ళకి అర్థమయ్యేట్టు చేయాలి అలాంటి క్వశ్చన్స్ వేసి కనుక రీడింగ్ కాంప్రహెన్షన్ అనే విషయము కనపడడానికి చిన్నదిగా కనిపించిన ఇట్స్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ టీచర్స్ హ్యావ్ టు 
take keen interest in developing the three varieties of comprehension in learners. Okay. Right. Thank you, sir. Well, we'll wait until tomorrow. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome, please. Please, 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 please,